Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we're gonna check different ways to style your React applications. First, we're gonna learn how to style your components using inline styles. In the second approach, we're gonna learn how to use predefined CSS classes. After that, we're gonna learn how to use style components, which is one of the most popular ways to style your React application. And in the end, we're gonna use CSS modules and to see what benefits they bring to the table. So let's start. Code with Sloba. Here we have a very simple app component and just a single button. Let's see how we can style this button. So we can start off by creating some inline styles here. Inline styles allow you to apply styles directly to Element using JavaScript. And they're a great way if you want to add a one or two properties in my opinion. So you just use the style property and you pass in an object. Inside the object, we can access background or any other property and let's set it to red. If we save, you see, this is the easiest way to style your elements. Now let's see how we can make this dynamic. Let's say if we want to click on this button and change the background of it. So let's add a use state hook and let's set the initial state to be red of the button. And now let's create a variable where we will store that and let's name it as a BG color and update our function as set BG color. Now, instead of using this hard coded text, we can use our dynamic variable here. And we can create a function where we update the background color of our button. So let's name this function as handle bg change and store that inside of a constant and it's going to be fed arrow function. Here we just change the color using the setter function. So call this set bg color and set it to blue, let's say. And now let's add on click event handler here. And we can call our function handle bg change. And let's try it now. And there you go. You can see how it's easy to make dynamic styles using inline styles approach. Next, let's see how we can style our button using CSS classes. So let me head over to app.css file in the same directory. And let's add a couple of classes. First one we can call bg blue. And let's set the background to blue color. And let's add another one. And let's call it bg red. Let's add a background color of red, like so. Now we can import this file inside of our app.js. And let's use it here. Let's first clean up our button to remove the on click event handler and let's set a class name. Let's try bg red. And there you go. And this technique is very useful when you want to apply some same styles to multiple elements across the components. So you only define one class and then you go and attach that to multiple elements and you don't have to write the styles every single time again and again. Now we can make this class as well dynamic. So let me copy paste this use state or actually we can just rename it. So we can set it toggle and set toggle because I want to toggle between the red and between the blue state. For initial value, Let's set it to be false. And we can also update this function. So we can use this set toggle to update the state of the toggle. Like so. And let's update the name as well. Handle toggle change. Now we can create a new variable. And let's name this variable as button class. 
and here I want to add a conditional statement. So we're going to check if the toggle is true or false. And depending on that, we want to return back a class. So if toggle is false or actually true, first let's set it to BG red. And if it's false, let's set it to BG dash blue. Like so. And now we can use this button class. So let's replace this string with an expression. So open up a curly brackets and use sticks. And now we can place in dynamic variable here. And to tell the expression that this is a variable and not a string, let's add a curly brackets and a dollar sign. And now we need on click event handler to change this toggle state. So let's add on click. And here we're going to just call handle toggle change here. So let's save it. And as you can see, the initial state is false, which gives us BG blue. But if we click on a button, it changes to red. Sweet. Next, let's see how we can style our button using the style component, which is one of the most popular ways to style your components these days. So let me clean up all of this and import an event state. So style components are external package and we need to install it in order to be available in our project. So let me run npm install styled dash components and press enter. Let's wait for a couple of seconds and we have installed that. So let me close the terminal. Now we can import that inside of our file here in app.js. So let's import styled from style components. And this is the function that we use to create new components. Let's create a new component and let's name it as a button with uppercase first letter. And then we call our style function. And now using the dot notation, you want to say which element you want to create. And here we want to create a button. And then you want to provide what properties you want to be injected inside of this button. And let's say again, I want to add a background color as yellow. And let's add border none. And now we have created this new button component, which essentially just takes the regular button and injects these styles into it. So let's use this new button and let's refresh. And there you go. Now let's see how we can make this button or actually these styles dynamic. So let's again use useState hook to create new variable and let's create again a toggle function so let's set the initial state to false and let's create a variable and a variable setter and let's set it as is clicked and setter function set is clicked now we can add event handler here and let's add on click and we want to execute a function here and let's set set click just to toggle the state of is clicked variable. Like so. And let me format the document. And now what we can add is new property to this button, which we can access later inside of this button here. So let's name this property as is clicked. And we just want to pass in this new variable, which we created. Once again, let me format the document. And now here, inside of this background color property, we can open new expression here. And inside of this expression, we can access the properties of this button. So we do that by assigning it a variable, and then we get a function back. And here, inside of this function, we can check if the property dot is clicked, if it's clicked, or if it's not. So if it's clicked, we want to return back, let's say red, otherwise we want to return yellow and make sure to make this as a string here. And now let me just reformat this and let's save. 
and let's refresh. And now as you can see, again, we have this properties dynamic using the styled components. And styled components are very popular because of this clean syntax as you're creating new components and also it's very easy to make them dynamic. And for the last example, let's see how we can style our buttons using the CSS modules. So first, let me remove this button from styled components, which we don't need anymore. And let's just use the regular button. We can also remove this is clicked property as well. Now, if you're using Create React App, you have already modules integrated inside of your project. Otherwise, you may want to use Bevel or do manual integration. So here I already created button.module.css and this is the naming convention that you want to follow in order to make this work. So file name.module.css. And let's add a couple of styles here. So once again, let's add our first class. Uh, let's name it bg-yellow. And let's add a background color of yellow. And let's copy this class and let's add another one. And let's call this one as BG green. And let's add a green color. Or yeah, green color will work. Now we can import this module inside of our file here in app.js. And we're actually importing the module. So let's name this module as styles from and name of the file is button the module dot css now we can use this style module in a similar way how we use regular classes so let's add a class name and here we can use our styles so we can access the styles module and let's access the property here so the property that we named the first one is bg yellow let me format this document and let's save and let's refresh. And there you go. And what's the main difference with CSS modules is that it provides encapsulation for all of your styles. So let me show you what that means. So if I inspect our element here and let me drag in the window. So you can see we have added new class here. And what CSS module does, it adds the file name the class name, and then it adds a hash. And this hash is specific for every single file, every single component. And this way, global styles problem has been solved. And there is no issues with conflicts in between the styles in two different components. And you can write exactly the same class names in two different files, in two different components. And you don't have to worry about any issues. And there are even more ways how to style your components inside of the React using some external UI libraries like Tailwind. But these are the most used ones. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.